It's a Eureka Rotomatic Power Team, model 1743A. Made in around 1981. I did find that on the uh, bottom plate stamped inside the cleaner <clears throat> on the cord reel as I had to uh, change the switch on this cleaner. I picked this up at uh, a thrift shop for about $20. Um, it needs some minor work. Um, uh, it needed a new belt on the uh, power head, a uh, new headlight, uh, a couple little minor things to clean up, and uh, as I mentioned already, um, the original power switch was bad, so I installed a new one. It is your typical um, 70s and 80s eras. All metal Eureka canisters. Uh, some people refer to these as Eureka iron sides because of the uh, metal construction. Um, very well made vacuum cleaner. Very good suction. I had a yellow one of these uh, a couple of years ago, almost 10 years ago now. Um, I made a video on this channel of that one. Um, cleaning up but uh, I no longer have it the mower seized but I like these cleaners they uh, the powerful suction they're made to last they're worth repairing um, they're you know they're not the cheap throwaway plastic Chinese garbage that the big box stores carry now and frankly most of all the big box stores only carry freaking uprights which I'm not a big fan of, but I do have a uh, old Hoover convertible and uh, another old Eureka the Boss 1934A, older style uprights. Um, it seems like canisters are a thing of the past in a way. Nobody seems to want them anymore, and you can't even go. Like I said, you go into a big box store, it's all plastic uprights, cheap Chinese made garbage, with high pitch whiny ass motors. And uh, worthless. I mean, they're they're throwaways. They're in the trash within a year. It's uh, you know, and people are falling for this crap. Nobody wants good, solid construction anymore. Made in the USA. It's just uh, the average consumer now just buys the cheap throwaway appliance, and it's not just vacuum cleaners. It's it's a lot of other things that, uh, and it's really, we can't help it. I mean, it's just more and more of these uh, manufacturing companies are gone overseas. And it's really don't have a choice anymore. But anyway, I'm kind of ranting on that, getting off topic here. But uh, as you can tell, I mean, just by looking, you know this cleaner was made in the USA. I mean, you can tell. You know, the Eureka Company, Bloomington, Illinois, stickers on the bottom. And I'm not going to show you because I'm sure you've seen it enough already. But anyway, I'm going to do a little demonstration and, uh, you know, you can watch this thing uh, do some vacuuming. Right, I'm going to set it down here. Set down the camera. Yeah, it's not going to work too good, so I'm just going to hold it. All right, let's do a little vacuuming.
nice fiber groomer too. Nice grooms and sleeps the carpet. So there you have it, my new vintage Eureka Rotomatic Power Team with Viber Groomer 2 with Power View, made in 1981. Okay, you have a good day now. Bye.